I didn't grow up at a time where there were tablets and iPads in our community. I grew up in a place, a small village in Oshun State, Nigeria, where things were not as smooth as this. And fantastic, the other speaker spoke very well on realities and visions of what our schools can become. But I'm also here today to tell you that there is another side of the story. In the olden days, when natives wanted to catch a monkey, you know what they would do? They would put ripe mangoes inside a narrow-necked gourd. When they put the ripe mangoes inside, the monkey, hungry and grunting, would go there, dip his hands into the gourd, and pack a feast full of mangoes. Now, while he tries to remove his hands from that gourd, the hands that was quite easy to go inside the gourd will become too big to come out of the gourd. Why? Because he's holding a feast full of ripe mangoes. Now, the monkey will keep struggling and grunting. It will keep struggling and wondering, and it would not know that has to do to be free is to leave the mangoes in the gourd so that its hands can come out again. While it is still struggling, the hunter will go there and pounce on the silly animal, catch it, and put it in a cage. Now, what the monkey has not successfully exhibited is some level of discipline that is critical for his freedom. The same way in our lives as young people. Greatness is achievable. Success is possible. But we all must understand that before we can get to the place of our dreams, we must accept and know that there is something called delayed gratification. While your friends are doing the things that they find very interesting today, while your friends are running around and playing, you can choose to do something different with your time. At age nine, I started writing my first book. At that time, it was overrated to even have a, um, a, a storybook because I grew up in a place where war ravaged the environment. But whatever situation you find yourself in, whatever school you are right now, you can be disciplined enough. You might need to sometimes go hungry. You might need to sometimes deny yourself of some food because you want to study more, because you want to research more, because you want to find out those things that your friends will not naturally find out. Several times, we humans are like that monkey. We refuse to leave the ripe mangoes in the gourd because we feel that if we don't leave that mango, we will die. I remember the story of two princes. These two princes were vying for the post of the king of their father. And at that time, their father was really old. One who was stronger than the other captured his brother and put him in a prison that had no windows or doors. The only thing he had to do was to make the door smaller than his brother's size. And because his brother was a glutton and ate too much, the brother kept becoming fat and he kept becoming bigger than the door. He kept his brother in prison for several years. And the brother did not know that all he had to do to be free from that prison was to deny himself of food for a few days so that he could grow leaner and then he could pass through the door. Now, this is a school in Ibadan, Nigeria, a place where a few young people like me who are passionate about change decided to create some change by renovating the school. Now, can you imagine students learning under conditions like this? You are privileged. But there is a certain level of discipline that is required for every system you find yourself. What you can do is to understand the peculiarity of that circumstance and begin to work and channel your energy correctly. As you grow up, things might not remain the way they are today. But you will remember this word, that what you need to do to indeed become the person of your dream is to be disciplined. They are even excited in that kind of situation. This is what our nation is saying today. My joy will be that there will be young people here today, like I did many years ago while I was 11 and 12, joined a change group and decided to start thinking about the realities of a great Nigeria. My joy will be that there will be young people in this room today 
who will begin to dream that they will not only think about their comfort, that they will not only think about how good life is for them, but that they will begin to think about the lives of several other people outside this community, several other people in several slums and villages in Nigeria who cannot stay in a class that is as good as this, who cannot stay in a room that is as good as this to get a good education. I hope that today there will be a steering in you. We are not monkeys. We can make change happen. Thank you for your time.